Are you heading to Prague soon and wondering how much money to bring along for a great day out? With skyrocketing prices, inflation hitting record highs in recent times, thousands of people gathering on Wenceslas Square in Prague to protest against high inflation and energy prices. Budgeting for your trip is now more important than ever. Based on realistic costs, today I'm going to be telling you how much money you need so that you can enjoy a single day in Prague with a realistic budget. So the first thing which you need to start your day is a filling breakfast. There is no better way to start your day than with a traditional Czech snack which is called a Chlebicek. This is basically an open face sandwich and they are found at delis of in Magdes Lahutki. One great place to try them is a chain which is called Liberske Lahutki where they are always serving them fresh. The classic Chlebicek features a potato salad, a slice of ham or salami and then sometimes cheese and an egg. All of it is put on top of a fluffy white bread. They are usually costing a 33 crown each piece and two of them are enough to start your day which would cost you around 68 crown. Located near most big metro stops is a little shop which is called Minute so you can come here for breakfast or any time in the day. It's like a little hall in a wall where you go in and then you can order special pastries. This is a cheap breakfast option which is loved by locals and also one of my personal favorites. So over here I got a little bag of four pastries, it's about 110 grams and the cost of that was 31 crown which is super cheap because it's like a bag and you can mix and match, you can get like as much as you want which is great. I find the sweet ones to taste better than the savory ones. To kickstart your day in Prague, at least for me, a warm cup of coffee is essential. I went to try out Coffee Cube which is found near the Muscheck metro stop. I headed there for a delicious flat white which is priced at 75 crowns. They are also offering other hot drink options around the same price. As a coffee lover, I found the flat white to be very tasty and satisfying. This budget friendly breakfast in Prague is gonna set you back by 144 crowns. It is customary to tip 10% in check but I'm not gonna include it in our totals today so that we can keep the costs transparent. Once you finish your breakfast, some of the top and best sites in Prague are actually free to do. So for example, you can go to Prague Castle, which is right here, so that's free entry. You can also visit Charles Bridge, which you can cross over for free. You can go to the Old Town Clock, which is also free. So I'm not going to go through that in this video. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put a link where you can watch that video where we're telling you the top 20 free things to do. And then I'll also put a link in the description. After you've done a bit of walking, what's important is to get some lunch and when you're visiting Prague, it's important that you get some traditional Czech cuisine and no better place to try it than Ufleku which is a restaurant which has been open for over 500 years. Right guys, it's beer o'clock and it's time to grab a beer and step back in time. Ufleku is a must visit in Prague as it's the city's oldest restaurant which has maintained its original look both inside and out. You can expect traditional Czech hospitality, a non-stop flow of beer which is brewed on the side and the servers are bringing traditional Czech shots to your table even though they are not free. And the food, they are offering also large meals which are ranging from 259 crown to my personal favorite, the quarter duck, Prague ham, sausage, red and white cabbage with two types of dumplings which was costing 399 crown. Here yeah, I also loved that they are playing traditional Czech music as you are enjoying your meal which makes a jolly atmosphere. In this particular visit I paid 616 crown that's excluding tip which is 10% for that big dish and then it was also for 3 drinks actually in that price. So this brings our total spend for the day to 759 crown. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that you can see when we post the full Ufleku restaurant review video soon. During lunchtime, many Czech restaurants have a lunch menu which is limited from 11 to around 2 or 3 p.m. Here they are selling a small selection of meal options with a soup as a starter and the price goes up to 200 crown. After going to lunch, you may be so stuffed that you don't want to work anymore. So you may decide to take a public transport in Prague which is incredibly cheap to go to your next destination. You can buy a ticket which costs 30 crowns for 30 minutes and if you want you can also get a return. So I suggest that you budget another 60 crown for public transport. Once in the Prague center, you are gonna be tempted to spend some money on souvenirs or you're gonna come across some Czech markets which are selling different foods. Something which I personally loved was that if you go to the Amarino ice cream shop which is located by the Prague Old Town Square for 201 crown, you can get a special flower shaped gelato ice cream with a macaron on top and it tastes incredible. Or you can come across a small Prague attraction for example a tower which you'd like to climb. So around 200 
even 35 crown or 10 euro will be okay for such unplanned spending. Staying hydrated is very important. In one of the many supermarkets in Prague, you can get 750 mils of Nepal liver or uncarbonated water for 18 crown. You can buy three for the day, for example. Adding the spending money and the water cost, it brings the total day spent to 1,108 crowns. A free attraction to check out is the Wensla Square. Here you can find some shops, markets, but today I'm particularly interested in visiting the National Museum. Not only do you want to do some free things when you come to Prague, but one thing I do recommend is to pay to enter some of the buildings. Now, we're in the National Museum, which is on the top of the square, and this place looks grand, it's majestic, it's beautiful inside. The variation of things in the museum are very impressive. You have a beautiful neo renaissance architecture and things to see for all ages with historical artifacts and fossils dating back thousands of years. Then there's also an epic viewing terrace. Here you get 360 degree views of Prague. The museum is certainly a notable stop if you have some spare time on your trip. The price was 250 crown for me as one adult and for my two kids who are under 15, it was free. This brings the total spent in the day to 1,358 crowns. At some point you're gonna need a break where you're gonna get some coffee, drink or tea. So opposite the National Museum, this is Cafe Du. It's a cafe which sells actually really nice coffee. And you can come grab a quick coffee and a small snack like a sweet cake, which is normally about 85 crown. And the coffee itself was also 85 crown and we also got a water which was 45 crown. After you spend the rest of the day exploring the things in Prague, you're gonna need dinner. You have an option of saving money by getting some pre-cooked food from a supermarket like Albert on the Mustek Metro stop and the pre-cooked food is sold by the weight. You can also go to one of the many restaurants for a meal. For example, Uping Castle is located right by the Wenzlaff Square. This is another popular recommended traditional restaurant. Here you can get incredibly tasty authentic beef goulash with fluffy bread dumplings and a drink for 318 crowns in total. By evening time, the drinks break earlier and this dinner brings the total amount spent to 1,806 crowns. I decided to compare our daily spend with what the Czech Embassy says you need saved up per day when you're applying for a visa. Our amount is very close to what they say you need. We were over by just 240 crown or 10 euro which makes sense due to the recent price hikes and you also need something saved up for tips. Once you finish your day in Prague, the next thing you need is a place to stay. The cost of accommodations can vary due to seasonal demand, personal preferences and location. Specifically during the peak summer season, the average price range for accommodations can be anywhere from 1,479 crown or even less if hostels are considered to over 3,000 crown. On average, a single person room during this time would cost around 2,300 crown. To have an enjoyable stay in Prague, you need a total of 4,058 crown per day. However, this is just a starting point. You can adjust your budget based on your personal preferences. So now before you book for the place to stay, check out this video here where we are telling you the best locations, the average prices in the locations and also the places you need to avoid in Prague.